Marmarino Tintoretto. First, apply Mayo Dead Quartz Primer. Apply the quartz primer, diluted with 30% water, to the surface with a roller, a brush, or a sprayer. The quartz primer is water-based and is the base coat for all of the interior and exterior Mayo Dead plaster finishes. The primer leaves the surface grainy, like a light sandpaper, so the plaster will stick better. This makes for a fast and easy application when spreading on the paste plaster. On a new dry wall, it's recommended to first use a PVA primer and then the quartz primer. On a wall that has already been painted with flat paint, use only the quartz primer. On a wall that has already been painted with any gloss paint, it's recommended that you sand the surface a little bit, clean off the dust, then apply an all-purpose primer, and finally apply the quartz primer. And on exterior brown coat, first wash the brown coat surface good, and then apply the quartz primer, which you've diluted with 50% water. Let the quartz primer dry for at least four hours. Marmarino Tintoretto is both an interior and exterior plaster made from marble dust and lime, which is used to create a low sheen smooth finish. First, apply a thin coat over the surface, spreading the material evenly, covering the primer coat. Try to eliminate the lines created by the spatula as you go. Let the first coat dry for at least 12 hours. If you don't want to see any of the spatula lines from the first coat, you can lightly sand the surface to remove the veins. Take a little bit of the material on the spatula and apply it to the wall, pressing firmly as you go, spreading the plaster around, smoothing out the coat. As excess builds up, you'll want to clean off the spatula and then go back and smooth out the coat, pressing firmly, changing directions. As with the first coat, this second coat of plaster is also going to be a thin layer. And as always, you'll want to work in one to two square yard sections, moving section by section. After the section is completed, you will go back in with the spatula and really press hard to burnish the wall. It won't be shiny, but you will get a little satin sheen.
The Marmorino Tintoretto Plaster will give you an elegant and naturally smooth stone effect. Marmorino is a natural lime and marble dust plaster making the product breathable so that air and moisture can freely move in and out. Because of this, it's recommended to apply Mayodead sealer to the wall in order to protect the Marmorino and make it easier to wash. Marmorino Tintoretto Skip Trowel. Another method is the Marmorino Tintoretto with a skip trowel finish. As you can see, the primer and the first base coat have already been applied and have dried for at least 12 hours. Now take your trowel with a little bit of Marmorino plaster and apply it to the wall here and there, skipping around, leaving spaces as you move across the section of the wall. Next, go back over the area and fill in the gaps left behind, making them smaller. The intention here is not to completely cover up the first coat, but to leave little patches here and there. Take a little bit of plaster on your trowel and pat the gaps. As you pat, go back over and smooth moving your trowel in different directions to blend in, giving the wall a more natural look of chipped stone, always pressing and smoothing. You can fill in as much or as little as you want to in this step. It's completely up to you and your creativity. As you continue to close up the patches, don't forget to smooth it out. Press and smooth, always press and smooth. Allow the second coat to dry for at least 24 hours. Once dry, the second coat is going to be the same color as the first coat. Now we're ready for the Velatour glaze, which will not only add color, but also age to the wall. We can use a variety of different colors to stain the wall. The most important step is to dilute the first coat of the Velatour with at least 400% water. Add about a 4 to 1 ratio of water to glaze so that it's light. Because this plaster breathes, you want this first coat of glaze to be absorbed. Using a sponge, wash the wall with a thin, light layer letting the wall drink in the glaze and seal up the plaster so that you can work with a second, darker coat. For this first coat, put a little bit of Velatour on the sponge and wash the wall, pressing gently and being careful to clean up any glaze that drips from the sponge before it has a chance to be absorbed into the wall. If you start with too dark of a color on the first coat, you'll stain the wall and it will become spotty. For a dark glaze finish, Always start with the light coat first, and then add the darker glaze, building the darkened stain slowly. Now after the brownish Velatour layer, we can add a red Velatour glaze to penetrate into the rougher areas, giving even more of an accent to the wall.
Now we'll apply a raw umber pigment to get more of a dirt color to age the corners of the wall and to give more of an old antique finish. Or on the exterior of your house, you can age around the windows for highlights. Look how beautiful and natural the textured glaze looks. 